Workspace is the Excellos platform and is your window into the supply chain functionality offered by Excellos. It is built on a modern Microsoft architecture with .NET underpinnings. Immediately, you can see that the login screen offers Active Directory authentication. The IT department can make it so that only server authenticated logins are allowed access to the software. Alternatively, in a multi-tenanted cloud-based deployment, the user can use what we call workspace authentication to log in with a traditional username and password that is also tied to a specific cloud tenant. We're going to log in now using Windows authentication. Every user is logged into their specific role inside of Workspace. Roles can be predefined or tailored to the specific user. If users have permission, they can build their own version of Workspace to accommodate their daily routines. In this instance, as a warehouse manager, I open up my Workspace to a set of KPIs that reflect warehouse performance. It's up to the IT department to determine which role is assigned to a user, which in turn delivers very granular permissions to the data. If I click on my Operations tab, we see a set of grids. I've configured these grids to show me information that I need as a warehouse manager, which allows me to both view and action warehouse activities. The important thing to note here is that every view of data within the Excello suite of functionality looks and feels exactly the same. Users intuitively know how to navigate screens. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll notice a search panel. These panels are a common user experience across the suite. I can filter on any relevant data in the application by entering it into a field. In addition, any of the data elements can be operated against with simple criteria. In this case, we're looking at a screen called Inventory Work Center. This specific screen shows the status of inventory in the warehouse. We will filter this grid by a specific product to show all items in inventory, their quantity, and locations. We can then save this filter for future reference as a template. We'll come back to this later. Along the top of the Inventory Work Center, you'll notice a few tabs that add detail to the information that you're looking at. Along the side, you'll notice pop-out windows that show even more detail. In fact, any of these details can pre be presented the way the user wants, simply by dragging the detail onto the screen the way that it's desired. In this case, I'd prefer to see my detail as a tab instead of a pop-out. Once again, this kind of screen personalization is available to all users. One last thing to note before we move on. Along the top of the screen on the ribbon bar, you'll notice a Video Help drop-down. Excellos has centralized Video Help and is adding tutorials on a daily basis to the library for streaming. Each screen has context-sensitive Video Help. Additionally, there is a localized Video Help server that our customers can use to build their own libraries for user-specific processes and procedures. Another screen we'll be looking at during this demonstration is our handheld terminal interface. Each one of the warehouse functions for execution can be accessed through this terminal. All of the functions you would expect are included as a menu item, like picking, receiving, counting, stock movement, etc. We'll come back to this later on in the demo.